my name is adarsh i am here to discuss the cat 2024 strategy for the corn section so the first and foremost thing that i would recommend you to do is to prepare a formula book if you haven't done so and to write all the basic tips and tricks that are required for all the types of uh, sums that you come across in corns and to go through it every day since there are only a few days left for that the second thing that i would recommend is to go through the past year question papers since cat 2017 because it's very important to gauge what what type of questions cat asks and it will give you a very good hang of all the questions the third and the last thing is to go through all the mocks that you have given since the first mock that you gave that will give you a good practice and will uh, keep it fresh in your mind that's it. that's it from my side see you at amrit all the best hello i am amrita patel i am here to help you with your cat question for corn section First of all, you should. Uh, there are very few days left on CAT, so you should focus on your strength rather than focusing on your weakness. By this, I mean that you should focus on parts which you are very comfortable with. Uh, for example, you are comfortable in arithmetic part, you should focus more on that, and you should practice more uh, so that you will not commit any mistake in uh, that section. And um, also, you should uh, not learn any new topic right now. Rather than focus on your mistake which you have committed in your mock test, try to analyze as much as possible, and try to give mock tests right now. Uh, also, you should keep calm on your D day, uh, and you should focus uh, one question at a time, and should not worry about other questions, and uh, you should be very quick while solving the corn questions. It will help you to manage your time in a, a better way. And thank you. All the best for your exam, and I hope to see you in I M E. Hi. My name is Chidman, and I am here to give you some last minute tips and tricks for quantitative aptitude. So, in quantitative aptitude, what is the most important is practice. Practice a lot of problems, and basically, you have to practice a lot of new problems. New problems you can get from mocks. So, for that, you need to practice a lot of mocks. In this last month, you to, I will suggest you to go on to a lot of sections. Basically, daily each section for quantitative aptitude, and for D day. What I need to say to you to that what I have done, which have worked for me, is divide the quantity of the paper in three rounds: round one, round two, and round three. And in round one, you have you put not more than ten to fifteen minutes, and you have to skim through all the paper and see which are the problems which you can uh, solve directly. Solve there itself. Otherwise, it divide it for round two or otherwise round three. In round two, you will spend majority of time, like twenty to twenty-five minutes. In that. If any problem which you need, you think that you can solve in three to five minutes, three to four minutes maximum, you can solve in round two. Otherwise, leave it for round three. And if time permits, go for round three. Otherwise, your paper is over. And in quantity aptitude, max to max, you need to solve thirteen to fifteen minute questions with a good accuracy, which will fetch you ninety nine percent. So yeah, this was all from my side. All the best, and hope to see you in another.